Freedom's the answer. What's the question? You're listening to Ernest Hancock. Welcome back to the Claire. Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock. Now, we're going to get Jack Gregson on in the next segment because uh, Meredith Whitney's report on, we, we, we knew this was coming, I told you, you know, it's in February that she's going to be making the announcement on the state of the municipal bonds. And uh, there is bad, is bad, is bad, is bad. And I'll tell you how it's going to work out. It's going to go to where the states will have have to make a decision on how much of the revenue sharing is going to go down to the counties and cities and other municipal corporations and areas and their little tax we made up thing, special district, whatevers. Because they have enough money if they just shut off everybody else's spigot. Now, right now, they, they, they might be able to break even just a little bit. Well, the states are going to cut it off. And the cities are just going to have to, because what can cities do? Declare bankruptcy. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to talk about how that does. Well, I want to, be, before we get to Jack Gregson, talk about that a little bit. It's starting to leak out. And it's really not out, you know, for approved dissemination. It's just people have gotten copies of it and paid for it. And they start to fax it and copy it and scan it and whatever. And it's getting on. We got some of it up on Freedom's Phoenix. But it, it tells us what we already knew. Yeah, they in big heap trouble. But I wanted to finish up this segment with this uh, telling flashlight story. In 2000, there was a gentleman that, that I met at my wife's 10-year high, uh, 20-year high school reunion back in State College. He was saying that they were testing this device. When it got to the reporters in Tucson from some libertarian activists, I emailed from, I mean, immediately after, within two days, man, this is all over. They went down and they had the uh, local congressman there. Oh, yeah, this is a great, wonderful thing. We need this. Got to have it because of uh, fill-in-the-blank reason. Terrorists, illegals, drug war, whatever, they're going to get it and, and for whatever excuse they need. Now, what it does is if, let's say you have a truckload of fill-in-the-blank, furniture, farm supplies, wheat, you can see it just like you're looking at an MRI and you can see people hidden in different compartments or in there or, or other things or just plain smuggling. This is just like Boston Tea Party kind of stuff. What was going on is that you have the British Empire wanted their cut or you're not able to compete with them or you got to get a license or, 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 or. It's all this kind of social and economic engineering. Anybody that would bypass that, you're a smuggler. A smuggler of, I don't know, griefy leaf substances, uh, uh, human beings, or whatever. So they, you create enough laws, everybody's a criminal. Well, to be able to find that in such a flow of, of traffic across state borders, international borders, or even just city borders, you have to be able to find the people that aren't doing what they are told. Well, that's an industry. And it's uh, this private company, which was a front company of the CIA. This is, and this is what I got the guy. I said, well, this sounds like it's just a front company of some military industrial CIA complex kind of, well, you know, I can't talk about that. And I'm going, yeah, okay. That's, that's all I needed to know. So towards the end of the evening, uh, he finally, we were dancing and so on. He comes up to me and we're sitting at the table and he goes, he goes, why are you so interested in this? You know, he kind of started to catch himself, and his vanity uh, was overtaken by his intellect a little bit. And I go, oh, I'm a libertarian candidate for Congress in Arizona. I found everything you said very interesting. Oh, oh, he he turned white then. He didn't like that. Well, what's he going to say? Hey, man, I didn't make you say it, you know. So this was technology that I knew was coming. It was already in development. If you look in uh, Tucson, uh, what do they call it, the, the Citizen, Tucson Citizen and the Daily Star, Red Star they call it, in Tucson, in the year, two, summer of 2000, I'll bet you it shows up. And it was called a tunneling flashlight. Now, I don't know how much they archived their uh, newspapers back in 2000, not as much as they do now, but, but uh, that technology was already well under development, and then 2001 hit. Oh, these guys' stock, I'm certain, went way up. 
and they're doing it, and here it comes. In addition to have the little body scanners that you have at the airport, you'll have like a tractor trailer rig, you know, that has this big arm that comes out and it's just a big square that comes out, deploys on the side that has an outside to it, the inside of it on the truck, and then across the top, large enough for an 18 wheeler to drive through. Now think about this. This radiation emission is going on while the driver is driving through the device. They don't know what's in this thing. They don't know what it does. They don't know what they uh, the harm is doing. That's why when we did the TSA transportation safety awareness, you know, opt out bags, we were doing the cards that Godzilla dosimeter badge. I got one here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. The Godzilla dosimeter badge. You know, we're saying, look, what, what does it say on the back? It says TSA employees, you're responsible for your own health. They're not going to, you know, you're there every day, all day. Frequent flyers, pilots, you know, stewardesses. Subjected this radiation for a long time. I I don't know what's going to happen, and they don't care because they're limited from liability. So this is happening right, not later. I bring this up because not only is it news today, but because of Egypt. When you have people that are starting to rise up, and they are going to rise up, they're going to be very angry that their cost of food and energy is getting to the point that they cannot sustain certainly a comfortable or any life at all, especially as they have small children, they have a large overhead, they don't have enough money for food and heat. Here in Arizona, when it's 35 degrees, people start freaking out. What happens if you're in Illinois and all the roads are closed? You got world record snowfall across the northern hemisphere and certainly in North America. And New York has you know, the centuries record snowfall. These are circumstances that bring about revolutions. This is what they're seeing in Cairo. Cairo has a very similar climate to Phoenix. So I'm you know, pretty familiar with how the uh, Middle East, their climate is in different times of the year. When it's going to get really, I mean, uncomfortable is the summer. Energy prices are going to shoot up, and they're not going to have enough money for the electricity, and if they even have the electricity. One of the reasons you heard us talking about focusing on water here in the city of Phoenix, that's one of the controls that they have on the population. You control the water here, oh, you control the water. You control life. Now, the Roosevelt Dam, you know, I used to think it was FDR. It wasn't FDR. It was Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt, back in the turn of 1900s, when you had a bunch of farmers and politically connected, uh, we got congressmen, we want kind of thing, they got the Teddy Roosevelt administration to begin construction on a large dam here. Now, we have many dams and reservoirs in Arizona. If you had every single one of them empty, but Roosevelt Dam was full, you're at about 85% capacity of the whole reservoir system. Roosevelt Dam itself is humongous. So I'm uh, bringing this all together in what happens when the state and the city municipalities aren't able to pay their employees. It's already happening around the country. We're going to talk about the report from Meredith Whitney when we come back with columnist and economics for Freedom Phoenix, Jack Gregson. You guys stay right there.